Hi everybody, welcome back to Darren's Workshop. Today I'm just going to continue where I left off last week, talking about solenoid valves. If you remember, this is the coil off a uh, fill valve, water valve, that went on to like dishwashers and ovens and combi ovens and things like that. Um, I've cut this one in half just to show how it works. But basically we have two connections, live and neutral. Two, on this particular coil it's 240 volts, UK AC voltage, alternating current. So cutting it in half, we can actually see see how it works. So we have just a winding of many, many, co many windings of, of uh, small diameter wire. It literally comes in here, goes round and round and round and round and round, and it comes out on the other connection. Inside of that liner goes this iron core. This iron core is connected to the valve seating. So as we put voltage on here, this, this wire, these wires, because they're wrapped in a coil, actually induce an, what we call electromotive force, uh, which actually drives this slug. This slug, it drives it in that liner up using electromagnetic force. So that's how this particular valve, uh, not valve, coil operates. Quite simple. Um, the other thing we use is transformers. Very similar sort of um, process. Again, we're going to induce on the primary. We have on this particular transformer, we have a primary winding and a secondary winding. So we are going to put again 240 volts onto these two connections. This coil of wire is actually going to induce an electromotive force, electromagnetic force. Sorry, and it's going to basically transfer across onto the secondary windings. This is an insulator separating the two coils. So they are not connected, connected electrically. They are connected by magnetic force only. So what we do is we put 240 volts onto there. Now transformers are either step up or step down. This is a step down transformer because we are going from 240 down to 120 volts. So in this particular case, we have one if you like one voltage in half a volt out so this is a step down transformer which means that we have more windings on the secondary than we do on the primary i.e if we have 300 windings on the primary we have 600 windings on the secondary this will effectively half the voltage coming out of the secondary connection so on this transformer i've actually sawn it in half so we can actually see how it works on the inside. This transformer is exactly the same as this transformer. No, I'm, I'm fibbing. It's not actually exactly the same. This has a slightly different arrangement in the fact that we have the primary coil over the secondary coil. And on this transformer, you can see we have the secondary coil on the inside and the primary coil is wrapped around the secondary coil. This is an iron core which is full of, it's made by laminating lots and lots of iron cores, iron sheets together. So again, we have an insulator, the secondary winding, insulator, primary winding. So when I put this together, this is the primary connection, i.e. this is where the mains voltage, 240 volts, goes into the transformer. And coming out of the transformer are all these different connections. All we've done with this transformer is taken off. Um, on the secondary winding we've just tapped or broken out of this wiring various points. When it's being wound we, we take a connection off at certain points during the winding process and that will give us different voltages. So we have um, many different variable voltage takeoff points on this particular transformer. So when I put this into some sort of, I'll just put it there, this is how it looks when we draw it from a schematic point of view. So this is our primary, which is 240 volts AC. Then we show two lines usually, oh, and this actually goes to an earth point. This is the core, which is, which is this part. 
as you can see it's all part of the chassis all uh, all earth and then we have the secondary and on this one we have one let's say we have one to ten turning ratio so because we've got 100 and two, sorry, 240 volts coming into the transformer we have 10 times as many turns on the secondary therefore we're stepping down so we have 24 volts AC as an output so we'll call that positive negative we'll call that positive negative so on that particular transformer we have a slightly different arrangement in the fact that we have the primary again 240 volts AC positive and negative then we have the secondary but we tap off at various points along the during the, sec during the winding of the secondary um, secondary coil so if we were to measure from let's say that we take off um, at, at, again 1 to 10 on this on this coil so we have 24 volts here uh, let's say we tap off again another halfway along we're going to have 12 volts and roughly halfway gone again roughly we're going to get 5 volts and this will be 0 volt so we can see that we have a ways of producing different voltages from the same transformer just by tapping off different points during during the winding process of the secondary and that's really as much as I want to go into with transformers um, they're quite simple devices they either work or they don't um, so thanks for watching guys hopefully that was, hopefully that was a little bit of interest and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon thank you